Django! 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 Wait, that's Mission Impossible? Yeah, that's Mission Impossible. I uh, I haven't seen those either. I just I just did a trickery with you guys. See if y'all were on your toes. Today we're gonna be checking out Django Unchained. Unchain me. See, guys, I have not seen this movie, which is a really annoying thing. Some movies, I'm okay with the fact that I haven't seen them. This one, I'm not okay with it. I should have seen this movie for multiple reasons. One, because I absolutely love Quentin Tarantino. Two, because I love the entire fucking cast in this movie. And three, because Ozzy has seen this movie probably 47 times. My dog, because... Whenever I had a lawyer job, I used to play movies for him as I left the apartment for the day. And I would always pick the, the longest movies I could find, so Ozzy has seen The Irishman and Django probably anywhere from 40 to 72 times. And he constantly makes fun of me that I haven't seen it. So today we're gonna write that wrong. And guys, if for some reason you want a little bit more content than what you find on YouTube and you want access to these full-length, early released movies, I'm gonna leave the link to the Patreon down below in the description. And, uh, strap in for two hours and 45 minutes, it's gonna be a fun one! Aaron probably looks extremely scared, having to edit a two hour and 45 minute Quentin Tarantino movie where they say the word, well I'm not gonna say it, the N word, 75,000 times. But that's not my problem anymore. Thanks Aaron. Whoo! The Weinstein Company. That's not Harvey Weinstein, is it? The hell's the Weinstein Company? I'm so excited for this! Yeah! Oh, Christoph Waltz. This is gonna be a good one! God, this used to piss me off when I had to go to work and Ozzy was l sleeping on the couch watching Django! Oh, shit. I absolutely love the fact that Quentin Tarantino does not shy away from anything. He is not afraid of any aspect of filmmaking, and I absolutely love that. Like, imagine shooting a movie where you got slaves whipped and bloodied up walking in chains. Imagine making that movie and having the balls to do that. Quentin must have some giant balls. Bob and Harvey Weinstein! I feel like as a filmmaker, it's a bold move to have an original soundtrack for a movie. Because there are so many phenomenal songs out there and incredible scores that you could add to your movie. So to take that leap of faith and actually have music specifically made for your movie, huge hit or miss moment. In this so far, hit. Tremendous hit. 1858. Two years before the Civil War. Thank you for putting that because historically illiterate people like myself need that context. Who's that stumbling around in the dark? It's me! State your business or prepare to get winged. I'm Goochman! Calm yourselves, gentlemen. I'm looking for a pair of slave traders that go by the name of the Speck Brothers. Might that be you? I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse, Fritz. Fritz. <laughs> What kind of doctor? Is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan Plantation? I'm from the Karukan Plantation. He's looking for Django? And why would your dumbass ask what kind of doctor he was? He's got a tooth on his car. A buggy. Whatever the hell it is. What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. And why the hell are you looking for him? Tell me. If you were to see any of these three gentlemen again, would you recognize them? Stop talking to him like that. My good man, I'm simply trying to ascertain- Speak English, goddammit. <laughs> Crack a fucking book, dude. Down. Did you simply get carried away with your dramatic gesture, or are you pointing your weapon at me with lethal intention? <laughs> Last chance, fancy pants. Oh, very well. Oh! Oh my god, the horse too? Holy shit! I'm sorry to put a bullet in your beast, but I didn't want you to do anything rash before you had a moment to come to your senses. <laughs> you shot Roscoe! Well, <laughs> well, we feel worse about shooting the horse rather than Roscoe's scumbag ass. If you could keep your caterwauling down to a minimum, I'd like to finish my line of inquiry with young Django. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to see the little brothers again, you could recognize them. Sold American! Mr. Speck, how much for a young Django here? Just shoot dude in the face and take him. 
<gasps> Ow! Also, if I were you, I'd take that winter coat the dear departed speck left behind. I would spit on his body, shit on his chest, and then take his coat. Don't you touch my brother's coat! Well, I'm gonna piss on his coat! Dude, stomp this guy out! <laughs> <laughs> One hundred, twenty, and five. And since he won't be needing it anymore, I'd like to purchase your brother's snag. <laughs> also- One hundred and twenty-five dollars, that's kind of a lot. I, I mean, not not for a person, certainly, Jesus Christ, but just in the 1800s, 125 bucks, I feel like that's a, that's a lot of money. This is gonna be a dangerous reaction. Anything taken out of context is- <laughs> Could be pretty bad. What are you gonna do with the rest of them? Now, as to you poor devils, you gentlemen have two choices. One, you could lift that beast off the remaining speck, then carry him to the nearest town. The Hell no! Point. Fucking stomp dude out! You could unshackle yourselves? Yes. Take that rifle, put a bullet in his head, bury the two of them deep, and then make your way to a more enlightened area of this country. I love this dude! He seems great! Which is like a very stark difference from his character who Christoph Waltz played in Inglorious Bastards, some despicable fucking nasty ass sadistic Nazi. So already, fucking 10 minutes into the movie, you already see the range of his acting ability, which is crazy. Gotta be reasonable in a situation like this. Reasonable, my ass. They're in chains, ass fuck. No, no, please. <laughs> Sweet God, <laughs> Quentin does not hold anything back, but that's what you want out of a movie like this. Hell, that's what I want in every movie. Daughtry, Texas. I was born and raised in Texas. I have no idea where the hell Daughtry is. Look at that tooth on top of the car. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah, that, it stings to hear that word. What's everybody staring at? They ain't never seen no on horse before. <laughs> Look at the gang of goats, dude! It's fucking sick. I'm more into that. Good morning, innkeeper. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? Get that out of here. Alas. <laughs> what kind of dentist are you? <laughs> Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. Hell yes! Not using your degree you earned! The state places a bounty on a man's head. I show that corpse to the authorities, proving yes indeed I truly have killed him, at which point the authorities pay me the bounty. Probably makes a hell of a lot more than dentistry. What's the bounty? It's like a reward. I would like the two of us to enter into an agreement. To kill motherfuckers! I'm for the Riddle Brothers. But why use Django? However, at this endeavor, I'm, I'm at a slight disadvantage. So far as I don't know what they look like. Oh, and he came from them. Ah. I know what they look like, all right. So here's my agreement. You travel with me until we find them. Where are we going? And as if. Oh, works, God. Here comes the sheriff. Oh, God. Okay, boys. Come on out. For what? I mean, I know for what, but what are you going to do? Why y'all want to come into my town and start trouble? Scare all these nice people and show your ass. He shot the sheriff. He just, uh, bitch, fainted. Who's this chick wearing a gurney and uh, waddling away? Dude just executed the sheriff. Oh my God. I want six men, six rifles behind you. Somebody gets poor Bill out of goddamn street. Damn, that's a cool shot. Is this the marshal I have the pleasure of addressing? This is U.S. Marshal Gil Tatum. Ew. Here we come. You're gonna shoot the damn marshal, aren't you? Aren't y'all afraid they're just gonna shoot you right there? My name is Dr. King Schultz. The man lying dead in the dirt is actually a wanted outlaw by the name of Willard Peck. The hell you say? I'm willing to wager this man was elected sheriff sometime in the past two years. I know this <laughs> yes. because three- I know so that's right. This is a warrant made out by Circuit Court Judge Henry Allen Laudermilk of Austin, Texas. He'll back up who I am and who your dear departed sheriff was. In other words, Marshal, you owe me $200. <laughs> 
Not only are you not going to kill me dead, and not only am I going to give your beard to a black man, but you're going to pay me $200 cash money. It's awesome. Gives me goosebumps, dude. That's sick. Wow. It's little subtle shots like that that are often overlooked, but add so much depth to the movie. You'll be a free man. What's your plan after that? Find my wife. I had no idea you were a married man. His wife's gonna die in this movie, isn't she? That just seems like what Tarantino would do. We finally get to his wife and she's gonna be fucking slaughtered in front of him. Django, Django. Boy's got sand. He's got I what? I got no use for n with sand. He's got sand? I don't like sand. And the girl too. And I want you to take him to the Greenville auction and sell him separately. What a fucking douchebag. <sighs> The way times were back there, if there was a free black man, wouldn't some white asshole just claim him and be like, Oh, he's my slave, nah! Like... What is her name? Broom Hilda. Were her owners German? She was raised by a German mistress. Von Schaffs. She speak a little German, too. They call me Hildy. Wow, she's gorgeous! Out here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. When we gain access to these plantations, we'll be putting on an act. You'll be playing a character. <laughs> that looks dope. Give, no, it looks sick. Just give your man a guitar. It looks like Slash. During the act, you can never break character. And now, Django, you may choose your character's costume. This is dope. <laughs> Dude, that bright blue? Let's go! <laughs> it's so it's against the law for to ride horses in this territory. His name is Django. He's a free man. He can ride what he pleases. Not on my property. It's illegal to look like a mustachioed off brand Colonel Sanders, dickbag. These are our horses, Tony and Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> the horse bowed his head! <laughs> That's sick. I wish to purchase one of your n gals. You and your Jimmy rode from Texas to Tennessee to buy one of my n gals? Oh, I'm afraid so. Well, what if I was to say I don't like you? Or your fancy pants And I wouldn't sell you a tinker's dam. A what? I have 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. <laughs> my dude's rolling through with five stacks? Well, come on inside and get yourself <laughs> something cool to drink. <laughs> You want me to suck you off too? Five grand, Jesus! Quick change of heart right there. Uh, Bettina. Yes, sir, Big Daddy. Yes, sir, Big Daddy. Django, Django. Django is a free man, you understand? You want I should treat him like white folks? No. <laughs> That's not what I said. Then I don't know what you want, Big Daddy. <laughs> you just treat him like you would Jerry. <clears throat> what is Jerry that you don't treat him like a white guy or a black guy? What you do for your master? Didn't you hear He's not a slave. Plays? You mean you want to dress like that? <laughs> I picked this shit out, girl! Oh, this soundtrack's so cool. Is that him? She, she work in the house, John. You can mess her skin up. She the one one off with me. It, 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 if anybody should be getting whooped, that should be me. Dude, I look at slavery and old times like that, and it makes it literally makes me feel like I want to throw up. It's disgusting. <laughs> Is that who you was looking for? Yeah, fucking slit this dude's throat and drink his blood. I, I would, probably not the last part, but first part's still good. Go get that white man I came here with. Dude, he looks like such a badass rolling up in that royal blue, dude. Wait, why is she swinging? Oh, God. Django's gonna stop him, yeah? He's got to. Stop this nasty ass pig of a man. John Brill! Imagine they play Guess Who's Back by, by Eminem when they show that. It's so sick. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Remember me? That was smooth. I like the way you die, boy. <laughs> Oh shit, we're gonna whip this dude? Whip him in the face! Let's go! Whip his ass! I bet y'all didn't even think we were checking out a superhero movie today. Django's a fucking superhero! I say shoot his kneecaps, rip his ears off. Yeah. Where are they? That's Big John. That's Little Raj. Where's Alice? 
He's the one hot telling it across that field right now. You sure that's him? Yeah. Positive? Let's see how good your shot is. Oh, dude, what a cool shot. Blood being sprayed across the cotton? That contrast is fucking dope. What do you want, Colonel Sanders? Who are you two jokers? In my pocket is a warrant for the arrest and capture <laughs> of John Brittle, Roger Brittle, and Ellis Brittle. Now, I reiterate, the warrant states- <laughs> This works so alive, well because so this dude is extremely likable. He's eloquent, he's thorough, and he's very, very magnetic. Satisfied? <laughs> Get off my land. Oh, space. <laughs> I will, but first you owe me $400. Oh, the tooth is like a piggy bank, bro. Yeah, that's them sons of bitches. What the fuck are you scoundrels doing? Oh, shit. The KKK. Imagine filming this. Now, unless they start shooting first, nobody shoot them. Damn, I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. <laughs> You ready or what? <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm fucking with my holes. Oh, oh, shit. If I don't move my head, I can see you pretty good, more or less. Jonah Hill! I just made mine worse. <laughs> if you don't wear them as you ride up, that just defeats the purpose. Well, I can't see in this fucking thing. I keep breathing this fucking thing and I keep riding this fucking thing. Now, I watched my wife work all day getting 30 bags together for you ungrateful sons of bitches. <laughs> and all I can hear is... This is awesome. I mean, the KKK is certainly not awesome. But you never see this type of shit. My wife made these KKK masks all night last night, you ungrateful pieces of shit. We all think the bag was a nice idea. But not pointing <laughs> the fingers, they could have been done better. Yeah, you could have cut a hole in the mouth so you could breathe. I didn't say no bags. But nobody can see. So... <laughs> So it'd be nice to see. <laughs> God damn it! This is a raid! I love that they spent that much time on the backs. Get the f down here! What? They tricked you! Oh, did they put explosives in there? Beat us in. They're gonna blow these motherfuckers up! Yes! <laughs> oh shit! But fuck those guys! Look at them all. Cowards tend to do that. <laughs> Ridiculous scene. Can't see shit out of this. <laughs> nice. Horse is good to go. I wonder if the KKK horses were embarrassed for what they did. How do you like the bounty hunting business? Seems a whole lot better than what he was in. I have to admit, we make a good team. Why you care what happened to me? He likes you, can't you tell? I've never given anybody their freedom before. And now that I have, I feel vaguely responsible for you. As a German, I'm obliged to help you on your quest to rescue your beloved Brunhilde. And then we'll celebrate with a big ass plate of schnitzel. Y'all ever had schnitzel? Probably my favorite meal on the, on the planet. One of my favorite things about Quentin Tarantino movies is how perfect the casting is. Could you name somebody better than Jamie Foxx to play Django? These characters are so well selected. It's, it's so cool because it's like every single scene, every song, every angle serves a purpose. It's like no wasted shot, no wasted sentence, no wasted mannerism in a Quentin Tarantino movie. It's impeccable. Fucking love it. Smitty Bacall and the Smitty Bacall 7000. 7000? 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Shit, load that rifle up, I'll do it! <laughs> Kidding. Who Smitty Bacall is. Kind of looks like Abe Lincoln. This corpse is worth $7,000. Now quit your pussy for me and shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, in front of his son? Nah, fuck your dad. You need to keep this Smitty Bacall handbill. Why? It's good luck. You always keep the handbill of your first bounty. Oh, that's his first bounty? Wow! Dude, what a rite of passage. Sick. <laughs> Shooting the snowman. Practice in my draw. Freeze. Oh, too late. That was a snowman joke. <laughs> right in the cock. Dude, 
Just murdering these folks is so glamorized. I mean, they deserve it, right? Doctor, Django, how the hell are you? You had a birthday yesterday, got some cake. My wife Shirley made it. She left out a little bit of sugar. Kind of tastes like shit, but still good. Beats a hanging squirrel out here. Beats the winter cold. And after a very cold and very profitable winter, Django and Dr. Schultz came down from the mountains and headed for... Mississippi. Wow. I love that aspect of Tarantino movies. He does shit just the way he wants it. Yeah, I have a boner for Tarantino movies. And I haven't seen them all. Haven't even seen Hateful Eight. Calvin Candy. He owns the fourth biggest cotton plantation in Mississippi, Candyland. Ew, that is creepy as fuck. Candyland, the happiest place on earth. Hey, what you doing? Hey, goddamn. They're gonna try to make her comfort girl. What's a comfort? Oh. Comfort girl? What, people just, just fuck her? Well, I say fuck that farm. <laughs> I'm still that horse. <laughs> okay. May I offer an alternative plan of action? What, a bet? The man walks up to the farmer's farm and asks not to buy the horse, but the farm. We're buying Candyland? How much do you know about Mandingo fighting? Mandingo fighting? What the fuck's a Mandingo? We're here to see Mr. Calvin Candy. Calvin Candy. Is this Leo? Django, this is Mr. Candy's lawyer, Leonid Moby. Just call me Leo. <laughs> call me Leo, that's awesome. Not the Leo I was talking about. One could almost say I was raised to be Calvin's lawyer. One could almost say you's a What did you say? What? It's just being cheeky. <laughs> Django, chill. <laughs> And he prefers Monsieur Candy to Mr. Candy. Si c'est cela qu'il préfère. He doesn't speak French. Don't speak French to him. It'll uh, embarrass him. Uh, okay, why does he want to be called Monsieur then? Why do you want to get in the Mandingo business? Uh, what the fuck is a Mandingo, dude? A member of a, pe of a people of a Western Africa in or near the upper Niger Valley? We got us a fight going on that's a good bit of fun. I feel tense and anxious. Uh... Sweet God. This is uh, Mr. Candy's own version of the UFC. Oh. Don't rip his head off. No. Do what I told you. Oh. Oh my God. What the fuck? That's why they call him Big Fred. And that's why there's Skittles on the ground. Taste the rainbow. What? Oh, that was quite the introduction to Monsieur Candy's character. Okay. What's your name? My name is Eat My Dick. The D is silent. I know. What do you mean, you know? Bring him up a pony to lick his pole. <laughs> yes, sir, Monsieur Candy. Bring up a pony to lick his pole. What's your name, boy? His name is Django Freeman. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. What did you say, boy? Uh, Calm down, Butch. Yeah, Butch, no shut the fuck up. Continue to play pool poorly. I was under the impression when you granted me an audience, it would be to discuss business. Oh, we weren't talking business. <laughs> Get out of a coconut, right? I know you didn't mean me. She's fine in a non-sexual way because I have a wife. He wants to <laughs> You don't want to sell. I don't sell the I don't want to sell. I wonder if it was hard for them to actually go with this script or if they can just put on that actor face and everything be golden. For a truly talented specimen of the right How much would you say, Django? $12,000. <laughs> well, gentlemen, you have my curiosity. But now you have my attention. Every actor in this movie is doing such a good job. What awards were won for this movie? Were their Oscars won Best Picture? What the hell did this movie win? Django! <laughs> With the glasses? My boy looks badass every single scene. And I wonder how Jamie Foxx took a lot of this while filming. If there was any internal resentment or if it was like just all good. Everybody calm down. Everybody stop antagonizing my guests. Who? Get back up on your horse. Yeah, and stop being a bitch! Please help Hoot here back up on his goddamn horse. <laughs> oh, you one lucky <laughs>
Jago don't take no shit. I need a hundred black covers for me and a hundred black. Like what? So the, with the soundtrack? <laughs> This is why I don't party, cause I dance and look like this. <laughs> Flash that bad look at me again, I'll give you a reason not to like one. Now move! <laughs> don't understand something about me. He is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's a phenomenal actor. I love when there are layers of acting in movies. When the actors in the movies are acting because their characters are acting. Sure is her. He didn't call her by name, but she's a young lady with marks on her back and speaks German. This is my world. And in my world, you gotta get dirty. So that's what I'm doing. Dude, he's a fucking champ. <laughs> Well, why do a fool thing like run off? Oh God, he's dude. Something crazy is about to happen. Or maybe they'll just talk. How far he get off property? Why are you slurring your words? Movie. Are you drunk? I ain't got it in me no more. No, 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 so we'll buy my $500, huh? Soft heart. You gonna reimburse me? You even know what reimburse means. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Shut up, you scraggly ass fuck. Do you know what it means? I'll reimburse you. <laughs> you will? You'll pay $500. No, he won't. He's just tired of you toying with him, is all. Ain't got no use for him. Ain't that right, Doc? You heard him? Dude, they are sticking to their story so well. You're gonna have to excuse Mr. Stone Cypher's slack jawed gaze. He ain't never seen a like you ever in his life. What, this fuck right here? All right. I can smell that dude. Ew. It smells like shit and barbiturates. Stone Cypher? That marsh and the bitches send D'Artagnan to heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, God. The boss looks a little green around the gills for a blood sport like fire. We rode five hours so you could show off your stock. Let's get to it. Because as of now, if he's an example, I ain't impressed. <laughs> Such a badass. You know that all that fucking anger and resentment is just brewing up in Django. Just brewing up. He's gonna get it. He's gonna be able to unleash at some point. I'd imagine that's how the movie fucking goes on is that we just slaughter. Although it is a Tarantino movie. <laughs> so probably what you expect to happen is what's not gonna happen. So we'll get to the fucking end of this movie and Django will be shot in the head. Talk about the charisma of Leonardo DiCaprio because he is playing a fucking nasty ass character, but he's still like, I, I guess that's just because it's Leonardo DiCaprio and he's extremely magnetic and likable. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Sam Jack? That looks so dope. That does not. Of course it's Samuel L. Jackson's Quentin Tarantino. Steven, my boy. Who this up on that name? <laughs> Now, I ask you, who this on that name? It's Snowball. <laughs> I don't know my name or the name of my horse. Snowball. Ew, I just snotted everywhere. Django and his friend in gray here, Dr. Schultz, are customers. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Him, I understand, but I don't know why I got to take lip yeah, off this. I don't have to know why. <laughs> Wait, does this guy him? not like black people? He gonna stay in the big house? <laughs> He's a slaver. Oh no, I ain't got no problem with it. If you ain't got no problem with burning the bed, the sheets, the pillowcases, everything else when this black ass motherfucker's gone. That gone. is my problem. They are mine to burn. Yes, sir, Mr. Kennedy. Dude, what a weird yeah, role for Samuel L. Jackson to play. Your daddy rolling over in this goddamn grave right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, where is my beautiful sister? What, are you fucking your sister or something? Dude, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's like Uncle Ruckus from Boondocks. <laughs> it's so weird. Do you think before the demonstration you could send around to my room? <laughs> you little dickens, you. <laughs> I don't see why not, Steve. You want her to touch your dickens? Uh, Hilda in the hot box. What's she doing <sighs> now? What you think she's doing now in the hot box? She's been punished. She run off again. Oh shit. Django, chill, buddy. What is the point of having a 
that speaks German, you can't wheel him out when you have a German guest. It's, it's so counterintuitive. It is time for me to rest my tired eyes. <gasps> That's your sister, dude. Is he fucking his sister? Such opposite ends of the spectrum for Jamie Foxx and Samuel L. Jackson's roles in this movie. <laughs> okay, moment of truth, is this her? Part of me thinks it's not gonna be her. That is her. Is it? Yeah? God, just wheelbarrowing her out? Is you coming with me or is you gonna sleep in that little box over here? <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> the range of the soundtrack, dude. From Rick Ross to this. The fuck? Hello, ladies. May I introduce to you Broomhilda? I've heard a lot of good things about you. I can see all the passions you inspire are completely justified. <laughs> the doctor here speaks German, and I shall bring- yeah, Much obliged. <laughs> Good. I'm nervous for her to see Django. I don't want her to blow his cover. I speak only for the fall with you in Deutsch, that can these people listen to us. This is my and our common friend's Absicht, to keep her from here. I have no friends. I think you do. Our common friend has a hang to the dramatic. I hope Dr. Schultz is a good guy all the way through and doesn't fucking change tune and then we despise him. He steps directly into this door. Dude, I'm so nervous. Whew. Hey, little troublemaker. <sighs> oh, dude. <sighs> oh, she's gonna. Oh, like she saw the Beatles. You silver tongued devil, you. <laughs> Let's go. Get your big pretty ass out of the way. You know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> and Eskimo Joe. <laughs> you never know how these. Nicknames get started. His name was Joe. Maybe one day he said he was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Fake laughter to ensure that I'm fitting in. <laughs> All three are champions. Samson, champion. <laughs> I need something more than just a big. <laughs> he needs to have panache. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what? Panache. panache. Uh, I want to be able to build him as the Black Hercules. Black oh. like Hercules, isn't that clever? More like. <laughs> <laughs> I said, <laughs> I would so taste bad. Tough, but one must not forget the most important thing in the fight game, mm -hmm. and that is a that can win fights. Mm. Sam Jag dude is the biggest wingman for him. Ooh. <laughs> See, you two getting on. <laughs> That's script. the meme. <laughs> you can't imagine what it's like not to hear your native tongue in four years. Well, hell, I can't imagine two weeks in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks in Boston. <laughs> Two weeks in Boston. Well, be careful now, Dr. Schultz. He loves a powerful emotion, boy. Mm. It's like a pool of black tar. Once it catches your ass, you call. Yes, sir. You stuck. <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't. Did you hear me? You ought to be know that. <gasps> Fuck. I don't know him. You don't know him. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? God, it's weird. I don't think he believes you. Look at those eyes. He doesn't believe you. To Eskimo Joe or the Black Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Hercules, baby. Black Sheesh. Her also, throw in that German speaking woman. Hildy, go on, take off your dress. Show Dr. Schultz her back oh, here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Look at that, Doctor. It's like a painting. Look at that. After dinner, during the brandies, gentlemen. Brandy, cigars, and looking at slashes. That's what I call it, not a fun. Sick fuck. That twisted ass look, Sam Jack. Why is you lying to me? Why do you know? You stay right here. My man's holding carrots like a bouquet of flowers, dude. Allow me. Hurry up, goddammit. Sorry, Dr. Schultz. <laughs> My ears ain't well for that. Well, shut up, Steven! Miss your candy, could I get a word with you in the kitchen? Oh, no. If you'll excuse me a moment. <sighs> Oh my god, a statue of them fighting. The fuck? Why don't you regale us with a tale of the circus? Shut up, bitch. I don't want to talk about the circus. We want to get Hildy and get the fuck out of here. Them motherfuckers ain't here to buy no mandingos. Who wants that girl? Hildy? Yeah, Hildy. 
He just bought Eskimo Joe. Did he give you any money? No, not yet. But then they he go. ain't bought Diddley. Not yet, no, huh? Dude, I'm just so impressed with Samuel L. Jackson's ability to play this role so well. Why would they go through all that trouble for with the, with the chewed up back ain't worth three hundred dollars? That Django's in love with Hildy. She probably his wife. Oh That's my God. His wife, huh? Steven is good. Oh my God. He's what every slave driver would want. And why does he hate black people? He's black. Would you be a deal go out there and give them cows an eyeball? Oh, yeah, there's a part of me that just, for some reason, thought that, I know that they were brother and sister, but just her sitting there, I'm like, yeah, that's his wife. It's the way that they fondle each other and start sucking each other off. It's real weird. Okay, this is gonna be real awkward. What the fuck? Who's your little friend? This is Ben. Ben? Well, Ben here took care of my daddy. Dude, you need some dental work, okay? Your teeth are fucking disgusting. I always notice that. I'm always immediately drawn to people's teeth. I don't know what that's about. Now, right out there on that porch, three times a week for 50 years, old Ben here would shave my daddy with a straight razor. Why he didn't just slash his neck? And it wouldn't have taken me no 50 years to do it neither, but he never did. Why not? See. The science of phonology, the area associated with submissiveness, is larger than any human or any other subhuman species on planet Earth. My ass! Okay, that's a... These three dimples exist in the area of the skull most associated with... Submissiveness? Civility. Oh. I will admit you are pretty clever, but if I took this hammer here... And I bashed in your skull with it. You would have the same three dimples in the same place. As old Ben here. As old Ben. Hey! Don't lay your palm flat on that tabletop! <gasps> oh shit. Dude, your hand is fucking gushing blood. Bring it out, Hildy! Why the fuck would he care if he's gonna pay him 12 grand anyway? Oh, ass in that. <laughs> lay your hand flat on that tabletop. Oh god. You yourself said, for the right. You'd be willing to pay what some may consider is a ridiculous amount. $12,000. Yes. Not considering <laughs> y'all have ridden a whole lot of miles. It would appear that Broomhilda is in fact the right. The price. 15000 Is 12000 Oh. And I take it you prefer the take it or leave it style of negotiation? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And if y'all think my price does <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's oh, oh, oh. let's hope you haven't been asked for it. Take your goddamn mama here and beat her ass to death with it. What's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? Gold <laughs> to the man with the exceptional beard and his unexceptional n Okay. It was a pleasure doing business with y'all. They're not even getting black, Herc? We will be serving white cake. <laughs> Look at Sam Jack. Yeah, we just did that. Fuck you, dude. But again, just a testament to the actors in this movie. Cast is nuts. I'm spitting everywhere. There's this cracked smile, man. I wonder if Dr. Schultz is going to expect $12,000 back. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me, man. <laughs> Stop Excuse playing the me. fucking harp! Take your hands off the harp and let it be. A little upset, that's all. Yeah, because he just got $12,000 stolen from him. There goes his whole winter's work. Oh shit, that cake looks good as hell. Of course, it's white cake. Everything sweet is white! That's why we ain't served chocolate cake here! Shut the fuck up! You brooding about me getting the best of you, huh? Actually, I was thinking of that poor devil you fed to the dogs today. And I was wondering what Dumas would make of all this. What, who would make? His mom? Alexandre Dumas. He wrote The Three Musketeers. Oh, Dumas, okay. Would you have ink and pen for me? Right over there on that little table. <laughs> so exactly what I said earlier in the movie. Every second of the movie is pivotal. It builds the tension. There is not one second wasted, dude. Incredible filmmaking. Brunhilde von Schaft. Consider yourself a free woman. He rescued his princess. This Fuck you, candy. Leo. Beautiful man, but treacherous character. Let's go. One more moment, doctor. Yeah, there had to be something else. It couldn't be that easy. It's a custom here in the South. Once a business deal has concluded that the two parties shake hands. I'm not from the South. But you are in my house, doctor. 
So I'm afraid I must insist. Why just, just the handshake, oh dude? Handshake Saw County, a deal ain't done until the two parties have shook hands. Shaking hands, you uneducated bitch. Oh shit, okay, just shake the dude's hand. What's the big deal? To have it your way? It's in Burger King, dude. If you insist. It's not just a handshake. <gasps> oh fuck! Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> Shoot Sam Jack too! The only time you'll ever hear me say that. Shoot his ass too! I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <gasps> Why not just shake his hand and leave? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, dude! Ho holy shit! Hand on the ass! <laughs> dude, and I've never before seen a shootout scene like this. Oh my god, the chills are so real! YouTube is not gonna like this scene. This is so bad! Out of ammo. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. Please don't be the part where Django dies. Stop shooting, goddammit! <laughs> How are you still alive? Billy Crash here got his pistol upside her head. Throw your gun out. We won't kill him. He doesn't have any bullets in his gun no anyway, harm though. I'm gonna come to. Hold it! I give up. I can't hear you. I said, <laughs> I give up. He's gonna have another gun though, isn't he? Wait, how are you gonna get out of this? <laughs> Perfect soundtrack choice! Oh my gosh. That's so gory. Yeah, how the fuck are you gonna get out of this? There's no way. There is no way. <gasps> oh. Oh. Who the fuck actually wears spurs? I'm born and raised in Texas. I, I think I've probably seen about Dude. four people wear spurs. Okay, don't say that. Probably pretty good while it lasted, huh? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, it's- not to them nuts, Black. No! No! Someone shoot him! Oh, oh my man. God, his balls! <laughs> ah! Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, old man, kill Oh. She changed her mind about snipping Django. Well, she didn't waste a minute telling me. I really wanted to chop off his balls. Shut up. Wait, is Sam Jack gonna let him go? And he's actually good? Or is he still a fuck? This is him. What you take with you? No, nope, he's still a fuck. When you snip that angle. Can we get a spinoff of Stanley and how the fuck he got to the point where he is now? They're gonna work you all day, every day. Then they're gonna. Hit you in the head with a hammer, throw your ass down the hole, and that will be the story of you, Django. Oh, God. En route to the LaQuint Dickey Mining Co. What a shit way to go. What happened to Hildy? Is she free? Quentin? I love that he puts himself in his movies. It's like Stan Lee cameos. Hey, white boy. You ain't got nothing to say I want to hear. How'd you like to make $11,000? What the fuck are you talking about? Are we gonna do some bounty work with Quentin Tarantino? To Chickasaw County, we finally found- This is coming full circle now because Django's the one doing the talking. I mean, he's the only one fucking left, but it's cool to see the full circle moment. Did that black ride into Candyland yesterday? He want no sleep. You fucking sure about that? Damn sure. You ain't fucking sure about that, I I'm excited to see what's about to happen. You got yourself a deal, Blackie? Got yourself a deal, Mike. <laughs> Got yourself a deal, mate. He said, mate, he's an Australian word. Look at that. Pass the veggie mart around. Let's have a one too, yeah? A little dynamite for you, black boy. <laughs> That's not really funny. I've just had the sauce fixed. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, shit! Oh, 
I was, I swear to God, I was about to say he should shoot these motherfuckers. Oh my God. And then free the slaves. Free the slaves. I love that they exploded Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, dude. Let's go kill some white folk. Strange thing to say. I guess in the context of the movie, it's fine. Don't let that down. Oh, dude, this is about to end with a bang. This is about to end with such a badass scene. Oh, my God. I got goosebumps from my wrists down to my ball sack. Whoo. Goddamn right, let's go. Y'all out here making birdhouses like it's Home Depot. What the fuck? Ew, what a shit bathtub. And why are you there in a rocking chair watching my man bathe himself? Oh, oh, on his Larry Bird. <laughs> Let's go. You and Hildy just get the fuck out of here. Go live a good life. Although I'm sure you have tumultuous memories just seared into your brain. <sighs> How a movie that is damn near three hours long feels like a 45 minute film. I have no idea how they do that. Open the door and say Papa's back. It's me, baby. Yeah, okay, that's a better line. Can you imagine my version? There's still blood all over the walls. I guess it was a day ago. What, y'all just attended a funeral? Well, you're gonna need to attend another one. Cause we're killing all you fuckers! Y'all gonna be together with Calvin in the by and by just a bit sooner than y'all was expecting. Holy shit. Last time I seen you, you had your hands on my- Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good. This causes me immense amounts of pleasure. I love this now. This is great. You black son of a bitch! Oh I suggest you get away from all these white folks. Not you, Steven. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere, Steven. You might have black skin, but you got a white heart. Which, again, is a very politically incorrect thing to say nowadays, but whatever. Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> oh my god, bitch flew back. She's so beautiful! What are you gonna do to Stanley's Steven. snowball ass? Oh, Steven. Yeah, that's right, whatever. Don't respect him enough to call him his actual name. I count six shots. I count two guns. <laughs> <laughs> Go. You said in 76 years on this plantation, you've seen all manner shit done. You didn't mention kneecap. Oh, God! Motherfucker! 76 years, Stephen. Every single word that came out of Calvin Candy's mouth was nothing but horse shit. But he was right by one thing. I am that one 10,000. <laughs> this is great. It's such a redemption story. He's a hero. He's a vigilante. <laughs> He's Django. They gonna catch your black ass. Shut up, you Sam. But the fact that I hate him so much, again, testament to his acting. Oh, I love what they gonna do to you. With the they candy. Gonna just oh. kill you. you can't destroy candy land. Well, you're gonna slide down to the fucking pudding pit or whatever the hell bad thing happens in Candy Lane. I don't know. I love that he's walking out with Candy's cigar holder and clothes. <laughs> At least Stanley's character is still talking shit. He's true to himself. That's that's fine. I'm glad the continuity is there. Oh my god, dude, chills! Oh. Hey, you little troublemaker. Hey, big troublemaker. <laughs> wow. I feel like I could start this movie over right now and enjoy it just as much. <laughs> what are we doing, dressage? 
You know what they are going to call you? The fastest gun in the South. Oh, I miss Dr. Schultz. I wish he was around. What a fantastic story, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino makes me want to write and direct movies. And I love that no horses were harmed. I love that. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, what a beautiful movie. I love, I love Quentin Tarantino movies. God, it's so good. It is literally an orgasmic movie. I 100% need to change my shorts. Dude, so many reasons this movie is phenomenal. One, it's a Tarantino movie and he does not fucking miss. But in my opinion, this might be of course, I'm, I'm saying this right after I saw it, but this might be one of Tarantino's best, in my opinion, for a number of reasons, dude. The, the sheer Oscar-worthy performance from every single actor in this film is absolutely phenomenal. Just the story writing, just the script writing, just... Uh, unbelievably fun journey, and the fact that it's a three-hour movie that feels like it's less than an hour. I hope Aaron feels like that, too. Do you? Good. Um, <laughs> I just, I absolutely loved it. My wife loves this movie and I'm so glad that I got to see it. Kind of bummed I didn't get to see it with her, but maybe we'll watch it together again now. But guys, unbelievably thankful I got to watch it with y'all. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Drop the next Tarantino movie we need to see. Love you guys. Oh, and if you're watching at this point in the movie, Tag Tarantino in whatever the fuck social media platform you got, and let's let him watch this reaction. That'd be phenomenal. Anyway, love you guys. Peace!